Today we've got the Rocket Deluxe Pro. There's several different models of these, but they're all pretty close to the same. Uh, this one had a busted hose here where this black and white hose is, and uh, I have replaced it. So uh, I will take you through the process of that and uh, show you what all we need to do. But it's basically, uh, we're gonna need a flathead screwdriver to uh, get these points open, and then a T20 for all these. It's a T20 security bit, and uh, we do not need to move the screws by the wheels. Those will stay in, and then uh, all these other screw heads are T20 security bit. Uh, it's the bit with the little hole in it, and then the only other one is the one in the middle at the very tip is a um, T10 security bit. So uh, let's get going, and I'll put this in fast motion uh, to show you how it's how it goes. One other thing to mention is the hose, the replacement hose, uh, is about eight inches long. I had uh, some spare that I cut off, but you can buy some on Amazon. I don't know the the size. I didn't measure the size of it. I just knew that it would fit. Uh, it, but it does have the uh, steel wire that's wound in the hose for reinforcement. So, um, and two, what I had purchased before on Amazon and replaced a few of these, the, uh, the hose was just a little bit bigger and um, I had to kind of manipulate it with a, a hair dryer to get it uh, a little bit more flexible. So once you find the replacement hose, it'll be a little bit uh, easier to do. So, uh, but let's get going here with the, uh, with the removal and replacement. And this was as fast as I could get the video to speed up, but I'm not gonna talk through the whole thing, uh, but I'll just point out a couple of a little things uh, as we come to them. And I do like to lay my screws out. Whenever I was pulling the screws out, I set them in order uh, so that I knew uh, which screw went uh, to which whenever I was putting it back together. So it, it is good to take a couple extra seconds and uh, be organized, have your workspace organized so that uh, it'll go back together like it's supposed to. And so there's a little spot on the side um, that I'll, I'll get a screwdriver out here in a minute and just pop it loose uh, but it's it's a, a little concaved area at, right there on the side. And uh, so I just took the hose and pull it out. That's the quickest way to get it out of there and um, get it ready for the for the new replacement. And so it's gonna go in there, pay attention to how the uh, steel wire is wound because you'll wanna screw it in the right direction. But basically just taking some Vaseline and um, getting it on the end. Uh, I, I do put it in the, um, the more recessed area first here. Um, I find that that's a little bit easier to get that piece in before you get the end piece on. So, but again, make sure that you're turning it in the right direction. Uh, you will feel it grab once it actually takes. Um, and then it's basically just putting pressure on it as you turn it and, uh, and then look down the end of it on the finished end that is, um, that way you'll be able to see whenever you've went far enough. Okay, and same process for this, a little bit more Vaseline. Uh, and that just helps, helps it get in there like it's supposed to. And uh, try to keep it from getting too messy uh, or you'll have debris sticking to it. So wipe out whatever's on the inside uh, because then that could be a mess. Again, pay attention. And I, there was a little bit of junk in this 
um, in the threads. So I took the time to clean that out so that it would it would go in good. And then this, you'll turn it till you get it to the end and then you might have to back it out a little bit to get that concaved area to recess back in that, uh, the hole so that it'll fit properly. And so take the time to uh, get everything locked back in place and uh, get the wires where they're not going to get pinched, get them back down in their recessed area. And um, that hose is actually popping up a little bit, which I'll realize here in just a minute, um, that because um, nothing really snaps in place. It, it, it does kind of snap, but it, it, uh, it does want to rise up. And it could be if the hose was just a little bit shorter so you might be able to get by with a, a little bit shorter hose, but eight inches is what I've dealt with in the past. And so it's basically flipping it back over. As long as you kept the screws organized, it should be a pretty easy process from, from this point on. But the, the trick is using that Vaseline uh, because without that, you're not gonna be able to get it to, to go in there uh, like it's supposed to. And, um, and like I said, if you do buy the hose from Amazon and it's like a, you know, an eighth or quarter inch bigger than what came out of there, it's, it's going to be even more uh, difficult to get that to thread in properly. And after you do get that hose to thread in, it's good to kind of pull on it a little bit to make sure that it did lock in place good. Um, but after that, putting screws in and uh, you should be ready to rock and roll. And there's that T10 security bit there. That's, that's the small one. That's the only one that's different. And so I took the time to clean the, the roller out, get the, the stuff that gets wound on it while I had the casing off. Snap that back in place, and then um, get your flathead screwdriver, and you're ready to go. So I hope this has helped y'all, uh, but you should be uh, ready to go at that point. P thanks for watching.